Justice. That's what Rolf Jarl's family wants for the 16-year-old who was shot and injured last week. Jarl had mistakenly rang the doorbell of Andrew Lester's house in Kansas, Missouri, while trying to pick up his younger brothers. Lester opened the door and fired on Rolf Jarl. Prosecutors have now charged Lester with two counts, including first-degree assault, which carries a life sentence. We understand how frustrating this has been, but I can assure you that the criminal justice system is working and will continue to work. As with any serious case, we approach this one in an objective and impartial manner. Joining community members outside the house where Jarl was shot, his family is grateful that he is recovering. We are telling a story that is different from the stories that you normally hear. Right now. He is alive and he's healing. The case has outraged many across the United States, including the White House. President Joe Biden called Jarl's family, offering his support, while Vice President Kamala Harris said on Twitter, no child should ever live in fear of ringing the wrong doorbell. The prosecutor in this case has determined the shooting was not in self-defense and says it may have been racially motivated. My message to the community is that in Clay County, we enforce the laws and we follow the laws, and it does not matter where you come from or what you look like or how much money you have. Everyone is held to the same standard. There have been rallies in the state, speaking out against gun violence and demanding justice for Jarl. Many have questioned why the suspect wasn't arrested and charged immediately after the shooting. But for Jarl's family, they say they're just happy to have him home. Lina Abu Akleh, Al Jazeera.